Hello, BookTube. How are you guys doing today? How? Okay. Um, this is the uh, 10 random questions tag, I believe. Um, and I was tagged by the wonderful Steve Donahue. Um, thank you, sir. And um, this was originated by J.B. Taylor, I think is his name. Um, to be honest, I tried looking for him, and all I found was um, some, like, hip-hop stuff. So that could be him, but I don't know if it is or not. So some of these questions are pretty hardcore. Um, one of them we'll start with is, Whose butt would you bite? And I'm going to go with Zoe because I'm married. And she's got a very nice butt. So um, the next question, who can you resurrect from the dead? If you could resurrect one person. And I was thinking about this and... Like, the, like, immediate thought is, like, somebody who you've looked up to and all this other stuff. And, um, so in thinking about that, it's kind of weird because I've met a lot of the people that I looked up to growing up, like, famous people and stuff, and 99% of them are fucking assholes, and it totally ruined my, um, it just ruined everything. And I think if anything got me jaded more than anything, that was probably it. Um, but I would think if I could spend one night with, like, Kurt Vonnegut, like, just drinking and talking shit... Um, I have a feeling he would, like, despise me the entire time, but he would still talk to me and make me think that he was enjoying his time, but I would know in the back of my head that he was completely, like, annoyed, and so it goes, you know? Um, but... At other times, I've thought of uh, my grandfather. My grandfather died when I was nine, and he pretty much raised me. But the reason why I want it, want to, is because I've often thought is that I wonder if the man I've become would have upset him. Like, when I was nine, I could do no wrong, you know? But, um choices I've made in my life and things I've done, I would hate to think that, um, he was disappointed in me. So, and we all know what happened to Cage and Pet Cemetery. so maybe this whole thing is just a horrible idea to start with. So the next question, um, Philosopher's Stone or Excalibur? I would pick Excalibur. Um, a hidden talent. Well, if I told you, it wouldn't be hidden anymore. But I will share one thing with you. When I was a child, like elementary school age, I thought for sure, okay, that I could fly. And I, I did it a few times, like, for, like, two feet or three feet. And um, it blew my mind. And I remember going to school and trying to show people. I'm like, dude, look, I could fucking fly. And I would run and, like, put my hands out forward and um, jump. And I would go... <sighs> and uh, I'm like, did you guys see that? I flew. Um... I think it was just me jumping and then trying to make my body parallel with the ground before landing. Um, but I was pretty sure I was flying. Um, so that was pretty fun. Um, what indie book do I think deserves 
worldwide acclaim. Any of my books. I mean seriously. The Black Star Canyon series is top notch. Um, the Hank Bradshaw mysteries are delicious. Um, the Brain Thief is phenomenal. Um, you could just take any of them because they're all perfect, damn it. So read them. <clears throat> I'll even send you some if you don't want to buy them just so you could see how amazing they are. Um, if I could exist in one movie, what would it be? This is a hard question because um, there's a part of me <clears throat> that would want to be like the third man in the car in um, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Not the kid like with the creepy hair, but like just like the third guy on the team with um, Dr. Gonzo and Raul Duke. Um, that would be amazing and crazy all at the same time. But honestly, um, I think Jaws. Just so, like, me and Zoe could, like, spend a summer at Martha's Vineyard. That seems very nice and relaxing. Um, I think there might be too many people there, so I might change to some other movie. Oh, you know what? I don't even remember what it was called, but there was this documentary. Shit. It just came to me. There was a documentary about this guy and his wife, and they went to some island. I think it was Galapagos. I'm not 100%. But they went to this island that was, like, its own little island off of a bigger island, I guess. And they just, like, made a house there. If you know what I'm talking about, please tell me, because I can't remember what it's called. And then they had a family, and then some reporter came and did this big piece on them and took it back to England. And then um, all these other people started coming to, like, live the same life. And then there was a murder. And, um... There was all this crazy shit that went down. I can't remember what the documentary was called. But if you know, maybe that island would be nice. It would be nice just to be somewhere. And it's so funny because I'm like, yes, I'm going to move to this island where the murder was. Um, okay, um, favorite song at the moment. I'm going to try to put it in right here. But it is called Robot Museum. Okay from the Mega Man 7 soundtrack. It is wonderful. Okay. Um, I'm death, and who would I bump off? This, too, is quite the hard question, because I think... Honestly, I would have to bump off half the world's population and make it relative per capita. Um, I just think it would be nicer. No offense to all the people that die, but like, shit's fucking crowded. And I don't like traffic. I don't like standing in lines. If I'm going to be really honest and... um <coughs> completely selfish that's how I would go um, if I was the president and I could ban something what would I ban this is also really hard because the more I think about it there's all sorts of shit I would ban but then in doing all that I would become like a fucking crazy dictator and everyone would hate me and um, I wouldn't be winning any popularity contests, and uh, it would just be awful. Um, we would probably go to war a lot because I have a short temper sometimes, and um, I can't take jokes very well. I can, but if I don't know the person, 
they might just be joking around with me and I might think they're serious and then I want to push a button to blow up their country. That's not the way to do things. Um, I would be an awful president, probably. But um, I don't think I would be able to do any of these things because I would grow crazy with power and just start banning everything. And it would be, in my head, the nice version of 1984. But no one else would agree with me. So no one would share my vision. So what the fuck's the point? So, yeah. Maybe I would ban the use of presidents. I don't know. Um, okay. Favorite meal? Uh, pizza, burger, quesadilla. That sounds lovely. So I will have that. And I think that's it. So if I missed a question, let me know. And um, I don't know who's done this and who's have who hasn't. So I'm gonna just throw some names out there. Uh, nope, I'm not gonna. So um, if you want to do this tag, and you're someone who I chat with quite a lot, um, you're definitely tagged. If We've chatted a, once or twice. You're tagged. Um, and if we've never chatted before, you're tagged. So um, hopefully that pretty much clears that up. So until next time, everybody, toodle-oodles.